Um, well, I was real proud of our team in the first half uh, against a very good Western Kentucky team. Uh, really, I think the key to the game was the third quarter. Um, you know, they, they got some momentum. I think we had a short punt. They went down and scored. We turned right around. We threw an interception. They went down and scored. They had the momentum. Uh, they made some good defensive adjustments, and uh, we didn't adjust very well with them. Um, so uh, it was a tough night, especially in the uh, second half. Can you elaborate a little bit on what defensive adjustments they made in the second half? It does seem like they really bottled up some of the draw game, and especially some of those short throws you guys like to use. Yeah, the yeah, they, they did. They made us earn it down the field. Um, they got a little pressure on us at times. Um, threw off some rhythm. Uh, we had a couple of chances down there, and uh, I think the negative plays, you know, that got us in third and long, second and long, you know, that was really the uh, telltale sign. And we weren't able to run the football very effective in the second half other than our quarterback. How was their change of quarterback? How did that affect you? It guys? worked pretty good for them. I mean, the guy, they ran their normal plays, and he did a good job. You know, in our defense, too, you know, I think after they got some momentum, they made really good adjustments, too, now. And uh, uh, our defense, you know, was on the field. In the third quarter, uh, you know, we didn't, we did we weren't on the field offensively very much. So they were on the field a lot. Um, first half, you know, they weren't on the field that much, but a lot of it had to do with them. Talk about the speed of the Western Kentucky defensive line. Yeah, their defensive lines, you know, one of the best. It's probably the best in the, the conference, or one of the best. I mean, they, you know, they sack other teams' quarterback quite a bit. We knew that going in. Uh, we knew we had to run the football to take some pressure off our, our line, but uh, they got to us a few times. You talked about their offensive adjustments. You guys kind of went with the set you went with last week, which was kind of three, four, bringing some outside pressure. They just do more pass protection resets to give more uh, time. You know, yeah, they kept us off balance. They made a couple big plays. I mean, you know, we were we were in man to man, and they, they made a couple big plays down the field, and we were daring them to do that, and, and they made a couple, uh, you know, in that third quarter. What's going to be the key to getting these guys to regroup together? Yeah, day going into well, the yeah, that's exactly right. That's what I told them down there. So you know, hey, we're all disappointed. You know, we feel like we had a really good chance to, to win that game at home. I feel very bad for our fans. I tell you what, I really appreciate our fans and, and how they were in the game. And we got to do a better job of, of uh, getting their money's worth, and we'll do that. But to answer your question, moving forward, that's what we got to do. This one's over. We got a game on Thursday. Uh, we've got to got to put it behind us. We got to practice tomorrow. And uh, it's a short week, and we're playing a very good team again. How many chances? You know, you talked, you know, well, of course, the non comments about inside the red zone tonight. It seemed like that came out to get you, especially early in the first second. Or just thoughts on executing down the red zone. What was the difference? In that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we had a couple chances down there. We were very close. Um, you know, it's, I mean, we're a work in progress. I mean, I've been saying that for a while, you know, and I want us to improve each week. Now, I'm gonna, I've got to give those guys credit. Now, I mean, you're talking about a very good defense. Um, uh, but we just missed a couple little things that, uh, you know, I think it was a slant down there really close, and we threw it a little bit. But, I mean, there's just some things that, that are little that we got to figure out a way to correct. Different standards in the second half. I think he had 140 after the break. It seemed to really get going kind of off their passing. It seemed that they kind of flipped the script a little bit. Yeah, I think the third quarter they hit a couple shots and got us to back up, and then they started running the football. And, and he's a good running back, too, and they got a very good offensive line. And, you know, they started keeping the football away from us, and we didn't do a very good job of holding on to it. And like I said, I think the key is the, the short punt, and they score, and we throw an interception, they score. I think that's, when you look back, that's that's what really turned the game um, momentum-wise. What do you think of the way that Nick Nelms built in for a few shots tonight? Yeah, I mean, Nick Nelms is a champ, there's no doubt. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's going to fight. He's going to do everything he can to help us. How do you think Taylor's uh, Stockenberg did tonight coming back? Yeah, I thought he did okay. I mean, he's still banged up. He wasn't 100%. And, you know, he had, a, he had to come out a couple times and all that. But we, at this point in the season, we got to figure out a way to, to uh, you know, to get out there and get it done. Coach, do you feel like they were just stronger along the line, offensive line? I mean, they're able to run the ball so no, they're, well. They're very strong. I mean, their their strength, I feel like, is up front on offensive and defensive lines. And I hadn't seen all the conference yet, but uh, after playing them, they're very good up front. What sort of plan just over the next five days to get ready for Thursday? Is, you give them a breather anywhere in there? Do you, uh, you don't have time to give them a breather. I mean, you know, we'll have a regular Tuesday practice tomorrow, but we'll strategic. We'll take it off of them. Um, but we have a lot of work to do as far as prep time, and, uh, and we'll have to figure out a way to get done.